Hello everyone and welcome to the beginning of a new series here on the channel where we will be flying for the French Republic in the opening days of World War II. As you see here, our pilot name will be Claude Bonaparte. He is representing the lineage of Napoleon himself from the great island of Corsica, whose family is deeply entrenched in military tradition. Now, for those of you wondering, this will not be replacing the Soviet campaign slash career that's going on. It will merely be supplementing it. So expect an episode of this series about once a week, barring any external happenings with my life. But without further ado, let's check this out. So if you haven't already been able to tell, we are not beginning. We are not going to be using the bat mod this time. It said we will be using good old HSFX with the Bulka's Westfront campaign add-on, which will allow us to fly actual French planes in the opening days of World War II, particularly the Phony War. So for our ranks, since good old Claude Bonaparte is part of military tradition, he will have already been in the military at this time for a couple years at least, and he will be a lieutenant. Hopefully this will allow us to get some control rather than just being subject to the whims of whatever the AI pilot wants us to do, especially since we'll be flying planes that are quite inferior to the competition. As always, difficulty is going to be pretty much realistic in terms of the actual flight model and physics. It will be on full realism with views. I have all these views available so that can you know check things out once the mission is over and i will be having hot icons as in the previous series just because it makes life easier and i'm not that hardcore just yet but with that let's uh start looking at it we will our place of birth is ajaccio i'm i don't know how to pronounce this in french but it is the largest city in corsica Thought it would make sense since we are going to be furthering the Bonaparte legacy here. Our year of birth is 1915, so that we will be about 24 years old when 1939 rolls around, which makes sense, given that we are going to be a lieutenant in the French army. Uh, the squadrons, I am unsure of the difference between them, so I'm just going to go with the first option. And now for the planes. We will be flying the MS-406 in the first campaign of this. This is going to be pain. If we face any 109E variants, we are going to be wildly outclassed in terms of uh, power, mainly, mainly power, power and roll rate. This plane kind of sucks at rolling. I tested it out here before starting this video and it was rough. If we're at a disadvantage, we might as well say our prayers and kiss our ass goodbye. If we make it past that, we're going to upgrade to the MB-152 block, a faster, smaller plane with much more armament. The MS-406 has very dinky armament compared to the MB-152 block, which has two cannons and two machine guns. And then if we make it all the way to Dunkirk, we will fly the P-36 American fighter plane because, yeah, it's some variety in there, you know? We're not going to see any of these planes in any other campaign that we do. The closest we might ever come is seeing a P-36 being flown by Finland or something. Or the MS-406 being flown by Finland. This is really the only other time we're going to see this plane in World War II. And this one, we're definitely not going to be seeing again. So I thought, you know, why not? Let's get these planes in here, add some diversity, and make things interesting. But with that being said, let's jump into the phony war. So yeah, I saw this. We're going to have quite long flight times. I, I don't know if we have the fuel for this kind of stuff. But I definitely won't be subjecting you guys to the full length of this. 
I'll definitely be cutting it out like I have been. But let's take a look at the briefing. It is December 4th of 1939 at 12 2100. And the weather is good. What not? Nothing too crazy. Midday. So, I will be leading the second wing of Moraines, as they call them. And we're controlling the airspace around Rotterdam. I'm not sure why the Germans would be attacking this at this point. It's uh, 1939 and they're not at war with these countries. But I'm not going to question this. Alright. So distance to target is 296 kilometers. That is so far away. I we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna have just enough fuel to get there and back, let alone actually fight anybody. But at least it's in friendly territory. So if we have to crash land somewhere, they we will not get captured. So that being said, let's take a look at the roster. Pretty much everybody except the commandant has zero kills. Only the commandant has kills here. Four kills. Maurice Desheins, Commandant born in Mons, uh, 1907. He has a medal, the Croix de Guerre. I'm probably butchering these pronunciations, but I'm an American, so sometimes it's going to be rough. That's right, there's interesting photos here. There's actually special French uh, photos in the game files for this stuff. Some interesting photos, for sure. And this guy has a Cyrillic character in his name, for reasons I, that are beyond me. So. Let's take a look at the aircraft we're going to be flying here, the MS-406. This plane is kind of bad when compared to the German, or German counterparts. The only thing it really has on it is it can turn better. Uh, yeah, uh, even then it's a little sketchy. Its roll rate is sucks. The faster you're going, the worse the roll rate's going to get on this thing. It can't even go that fast. The 109s are going to be flying faster than us. Our only hope is if we see a 109D, because in that case it might actually be a fair fight. But any E variance, it's going to be it's going to be trouble. In addition, we only have Two machine guns and a nose cannon, each of which have little ammunition. I think we've only got like four, five hundred rounds for two machine guns and like 50 cannon rounds, so... This is gonna be a struggle. We're gonna be on the struggle bus for this. I don't expect to survive that long, but since we're def on the defensive side of things and we'll be going into enemy territory, getting shot down every mission may be viable. We shall see. It's, yeah. It's gonna be rough. We're probably gonna be outnumbered. There's gonna be a lot of planes in the air. And it's gonna be a crap show. But, without further ado, let's get into this. All right, so our first time in the cockpit here. As you can see, we literally have like an iron sight as the gun sight. We don't have any fancy gun sights here. Cockpit's looking a little messy, but uh, everything necessary should be in the front dashboard here. Yeah, neat little plane. It's got pretty bad cockpit visibility. I mean, just look at this. Look at how much of your vision is getting blocked by the cockpit here. Like, Not a fan. It's got pretty good rear rearward visibility, but in terms of this mess right here, like, that's gonna be a pain trying to, like, see around. Not looking forward to missing planes in that part of the canopy. Let's get the engine started here. 
I will show the first takeoff in this career here, but I will show the first takeoff of each plane that we fly in this career, but after that I'll just skip to anything interesting. Allo, allo, attention, I like that we got French voice lines here. Give me that extra immersion. Yeah, it's going to be 12 of these planes here, which is a good amount compared to what we're used to seeing in our Russian campaign. But with that being said, there's probably going to be like 20 109s. I can just feel it. Yeah, this thing's got a good amount of torque. It pulls to the right a good bit. All right. One neat thing about this aircraft is it actually has an... Oh, I thought it had an automatic radiator. I must be tripping. Never mind. Jeez, I thought it said there was light turbulence. This thing is freaking shaking like crazy. Oh. Oh, no. It wasn't the flaps causing that problem. There really is bad turbulence here. Like, hot damn, son. This thing is bouncing around. I know it's winter, but jeez. Alright, well, I'll see you guys when something starts happening here. Alright, welcome back. We are over the target area right now. Uh, guess what, I got 19% fueled. Clearly whoever was planning this mission did not know what they were doing. But with that being said... Let's do what we can do. I see... At least two enemy aircraft. Make that three, make that four. Okay, this is not a winning battle here. That's one of my boys I told him to rejoin. Things have gotten pretty weird. The autopilot uh, turned me back, actually, once we got near the target area, presumably because the AI was like, hey, you don't have any fuel. Maybe we should go back. And then I got a bunch of radio chatter being like, Oh my gosh, I'm dying. Like, <laughs> bruh. So, this has definitely been a bit of a wash here. Somebody on? Uh, oh jeez. That's not good. Alright, well, we're gonna get our first look at what we're dealing with here. It's definitely a 109. Can't tell what kind of 109 we're dealing with here, that. Okay, yeah, this guy's turning back towards me. Gotta be careful. Okay, it's definitely an E variant. I can't even compete with these guys right now. This is kind of bad. I need my guy to bait him or something. It's not exactly working in my favor. Alright, well. Jeez. Okay. My gosh. This thing is, thing is slow as hell. Oh, well, we're also probably higher than its optimal performance window. Okay. 
Okay, there's three of them now. Oh wait, is it still two? Okay, he's coming down at me. Come on. Oh, this isn't working. Oh, shoot. This is about as good of a chance as I'm going to get. This friend is not actually close to me. Come on. Oh. And he's gone. This friend is coming at me. Yeah, this ain't gonna work. Bring him down lower. We got some airspeed here. Serious? This guy's still going faster than me? Where's his friend? He isn't diving on me yet. Where's he going? Yeah, still. Well, within friendly territory. Where did he go? There it is. Oh, jeez. Okay. We're gonna let them go away. <laughs> well, two of my four guys are still alive. Sounds like the first flight's in some trouble right now. Alright, I think at this point I'm just gonna land at this uh, random airfield because I'm down to 11% fuel. I'll see you guys when I'm trying to make my landing. Alright, I'm back. Coming in for a landing here. Should be pretty straightforward. Allo, allo, attention, prenez le cap 060. Stabilisé à 1500 mètres. Cheese the turbulence. Hey, this landing might actually be kind of difficult. Jeez, this whole plane's like twitching. It's... Okay. Go. Go. Well, that's that. I'll just tell my boys to go home. I don't know, I 
Alright, let's see what else is going on here. Those are my boys. These are people from another flight that are well on their way back. These are some ferry battles. Some British planes here. Uh, some people have bailed out. Here's one. Where the heck is he? He's in German territory. Some more here over the target area. Yeah, it looks like a good amount of us survived. Let's see what the enemy planes are. Ooh, there's a Dornier 17. Nine E3s. Good amount of 109E3s. Okay, that's that. Oh, we didn't die on the first mission. That's always a positive. But, jeez, we had to fly a long ways. Literally ran out of fuel. That's why I had to land in this random airfield. Alright, so it looks like Sous Lieutenant Delfino got shot down and bailed out. He survived. Sue Lieutenant Mathis bailed out, survived. Uh, Aspirant Marchi shot down and died. He did, he died. He's the only one who died. And Sue Lieutenant Gillibear bailed out and survived. There was an HE-111 apparently. Interesting. Uh, wait, what? I got a kill? No shot. Wait, what? Hold on. Are you serious? You're telling me that, like, those shots I put on, I didn't see any visual, like, hits at all, yet I actually brought it down? I must have taken out a control surface or something. Ailerons or elevators or something like that. I mean, I'll take it. I they, that never would have been confirmed, really, unless somebody on the ground saw it go down. Interesting. Okay. Apparently, I got a kill. I'll take it. First mission, first kill. Even though I had no idea that thing went down, I must have missed the notification in the bottom right. Oh, hey, not bad. Let's see what we'll be waiting for us next time. Alright, so it's going to be January 16th this time, and why are we going all the way up here? Jeez. We're not going to have any fuel. I mean, so be it. And it's bad weather too, okay. Another long flight in which we're going to be landing at a random airfield because we're not going to have the fuel for this. Uh, okay. That'll be for next time. Thank you for joining me, guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.